This video animation summarizes a new and innovative method to generate a 3D ground model of an offshore site suitable for Wave Roller, AEW Energy's nearshore wave energy converter. Developed by Lloyd's Register, it undertakes specific offshore and onshore geological mapping techniques and integrates them within the latest 3D geological modeling software. The method was developed for the extreme high energy environment of Paniche, where traditional survey and site investigations, such as offshore borehole samples, were deemed too challenging. To reach the ideal operational water depth at Paniche, Wave Roller will be installed about 600 metres from the shoreline. The red dot marks the Wave Roller position. First, detailed information about the geological structures onshore is gathered. Samples of the rock formation are then analysed. The dip and strike of the exposed rock strata, visible in the shoreline cliffs, is measured and recorded. This data is used to generate an interpreted geological profile along the coast, which extends vertically beneath the beach to the same vertical level as the wave roller offshore. The slope of the rock on the shore continues under the sand of the beach. Where there are no seashore cliffs adjacent to the beach to expose the rock strata, boreholes will be drilled on the beach to reveal the underlying geological structure. Divers are sent out to map and take samples of rock formations under the sea surface in the installation area. By integrating all the measurements and samples acquired, each rock unit offshore could be linked back to the same rock unit in the cliffs enabling us to model the structure of the geology across the entire site, even beneath the sand. At this stage, it is now possible to generate geological profiles parallel to the original throughout the site. Utilising these profiles, the bounding surface for each rock unit can be accurately interpolated across the site. The geological model is now complete and can be used to explore the ground conditions in any part of the site. Utilising the bounding surfaces for each geological unit in the model, a rendered 3D volume can be generated for each unit. Displaying each unit as a volume enables the viewer to isolate an individual unit and examine it in detail from any perspective. Conversely, it can display multiple unit volumes together to increase the viewer's understanding of the ground conditions in a particular section of the site. With all the unit surfaces displayed at once, the model can be clipped to display a profile through any section of the site. The wave roller can now be inserted into the model to determine what kind of foundation is the most cost efficient for the individual site. Here the overlying sand is removed from the model so the viewer can examine the bedrock directly underneath. Now the bedrock itself can be clipped back level with the wave roller so the geology directly beneath the foundation can be examined. Also, a piled solution was simulated to understand the challenges that could be encountered in the underlying strata. The method was found to yield considerable savings for the project as offshore borehole samples could be omitted while still retaining a high level of confidence in the ground model. <laughs>